What's going on everybody? It's Trey Neo here and today, as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, was a rough day. I'm still going to upload the video, you get full transparency on this channel, you're going to still see the live trades from the first hour of the morning, and then I take a lot of trades after that, so see how the day goes after the morning, make sure you stick around for the rest of the video. Hit like and subscribe to help make me feel better, and let's get into the live trades. It's breaking, breaking down a level, breaking down below the low of eight bars ago, vis-a-vis -vis this red line. We get long right now, and we look for it to break up levels, right? Break up above the high of eight bars ago, vis-a-vis -vis this green line on the uh, left side here. So we'll see. Immediately down 20 bucks and immediately rolled over on us, but we shall see. The RSI, I have two RSIs now, by the way, because we did add an RSI for stop loss wait what we did add a stop loss for shorts i said that all wrong uh and but that stop loss involves a different rsi length so there's going to be two rsis now the stop loss on the long is still this top one so the rsi is currently at 58 so there's actually if spy wants to dump here there's a lot of room for us to get dumped into um but we'll see we'll see what happens right trade the system as you're supposed to you're in the alvr holds um you're pr i mean it's the first it's its first halt to the upside right yeah you're 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 in a good spot it, it, it doesn't mean it's fun being stuck in holds but typically being stuck in that first up hold, uh is bullish right so nothing to be worried about i think um yep yeah, we're immediately down 50 bucks but we'll see once again We'll see. We don't sell. We don't... Well, I was going to say we don't panic sell at lows. We will if the RSI gets low enough. Uh, but the RSI... Once again, the RSI is still at 57. So if SPY wants to really roll here, this will be a big red trade for the system. And for, obviously, us. Uh, let's put this on today so that we can compare against today's p &L. Pretty much matching down 40 bucks we're down 46 so we're a little bit behind we got a little bit of a worse entrance we lagged a little bit on the entrance it took a while for us to get filled yeah the system is in at 446.9 we're in at 446.95 and we're getting rolled into down 70 bucks nice nice very fun love to see it is this the uh the classic the classic gap up and then is it going to run down and come close this gap now to the downside it could it could but we trade trade the proven system as we're supposed to and see what happens once again as i always say this is the easy part of trading <laughs> this is the part where i don't have to make decisions i trade like i'm supposed to if it loses it loses if it wins it wins yeah. we know it wins over the long haul and that's the part that matters right i feel like i always <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is like my coping mechanism. I feel like I always say that when I'm down. <laughs> I have my own my own personal coping mechanism. I know it's profitable in the long run. Uh... <laughs> somebody somebody said that in one of my YouTube videos, and I was like, you know what? You're right. It is it is totally my coping mechanism. <laughs> Ow. Eighty two bucks down. <sighs> Bye bye I O. Did I O I O the uh, penny stock rollover? Did roll over a bit. Did Roku come down? Wow. I hope Clay Trader did short that. I was I was joking with my stream right before we entered this trade. If if you guys don't follow Clay Trader on YouTube, you should. He's a great trader. Uh, but I I said this looks like right here. I said this looks like a Clay Trader short setup. And there you go. Hopefully he did short it. He's up over three points now a stock gap down and had a big bullish run that's the kind of stuff that's the kind of stuff he likes to short <laughs> what's the chart again i guess you don't have it on laptop wait what do you mean what do you mean what's the chart again what chart huh what who when where why <laughs> we are down here it comes wait hold on oh we were already there earlier Way a hundred dollars red. Woo! Fun, fun. Wow, Roblox. Uh, what is Roblox doing? I would imagine it's dying with Spy. Holy guacamole! 
I guess Roblox had earnings too. How's Netflix doing after their earnings? Still pushing lows? Yeah. Spy is still getting crushed. Okay, this was a fun trade. Yeah. <laughs> Just get long and nothing but red candles. Okay, chat. Today we're going to buy when Spy breaks down levels. Oh, it kept breaking down. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I tweeted this. I tweeted this the other day, right? It's... It, Trading isn't about, for me, once again, this is my opinion, obviously, trading isn't about finding the exact bottom and finding the exact top, right? It's about putting yourself in the right situation to make money. When I, I'm buying dips on SPY, sometimes they keep dipping. This is, this is an obvious situation. It kept freaking dipping. Um, but I'm still putting myself in the right situation. You keep putting yourself in the right situation over time that plays out, right? It doesn't mean you're always going to buy the bottom, right? Obviously, you could buy a dip and it could keep dipping like this. <laughs> but I still put myself in the right situation, right? Didn't chase up here. Still bought the dip. This this time it happened to keep dipping. We're also not that far from getting stopped out now. The RSI is at 42. If that RSI closes below 40, we get stopped out. So let us see. There's 20 seconds left in this bar. Wow, these are like big red bars. These are like accelerant red bars too. Aggressive. It's an aggressive, aggressive drop here on SPY. 150 bucks down. Ooh, this is going to be close to closing below the 40 RSI. 40.3. Just closed above it. Okay, so we did not get stopped out on that minute bar, but we're now very close. Pretty much, pretty much any red. If this bar closes red at all, we're getting stopped out of this trade. Protect ourselves from the major downside flush with this stop loss, right? Although, I mean, we did already lose 150 bucks, but this was one of those scenarios where the RSI happened to be high. I wonder if trying to implement that could be a thing. Like, don't buy if RSI is over 60. But I don't think that would be profitable over time. I think a lot of money is made when the RSI is high, scalping these moves like this, right? It would save us from dumps like this, but once again, you can't create a system around what happens sometimes, right? If you create a system around what happens sometimes, you're going to lose money in, in the macro because you're going to be losing money what and on what normally happens. You're going to be missing out, right? <laughs> uh, seven seconds. Ooh, we are right at the 40 RSI again. Is this going to close below? It did not. Okay. It just barely did not close below the 40 RSI, so we're still in the trade. Remember, if this gets below, the, if any any close below the 40 RSI, we obviously sell, but then we buy again any close back over the 40 RSI. So it's just it's just a way to protect us from larger flushes. But we will we will get back in this if it starts its move back up. So we'll see, we'll see. Macro news: China defense minister says Taiwan is part of China. Oh, did that just come out, Hogan? Is that why we're dumping off like this? China, China, Taiwan news. Is that is that what happened? I don't know. Spy doesn't really have like news volume. Usually on like, oh my gosh, news, you see volume spikes, but not always. When did that? When did that drop, uh, Hogan? What time did that drop? If that dropped, if that news dropped at nine forty, then that does explain the dump. Yeah, <laughs> when maybe we happen to get caught in a. Uh, in a macro news dump here, which is a shame, but with like anything in the stock market can happen, right? Anything can happen. <laughs> PayPal dumping too. PayPal's at 96. Did PayPal have earnings? Or is it just, <laughs> wow, geez Louise. PayPal has been getting crushed for a long time. Continuing to get crushed. I mean, those, dude, we talked about it. We talked about it before. Well, not necessarily before. The dump was, like, starting to happen. But we talked about months ago all those payment processing. Even, like, oh, my gosh, Trey, PayPal is down 20% from high. Should I buy it? We went and looked. Dude, their valuations were still through the roof. Like, they have super high valuation metrics, those, those payment processing. Square, PayPal, Visa, all of them did. It's not that surprising that they're getting crushed. Um, okay, it looks like we are getting stopped out of this candle. We are down $190 in this trade. Very fun. This is close to our largest single losing trade ever. Um, let me pull up Trader View. I think we've had a $200 loser. Oh, I already have Trader View open. Detailed. No, no, that was our largest single trade loss. Woo! <laughs> our largest single trade loss before this was $178. 
That is our largest single trade loss. But here it comes. It looks like this bar is about to close RSI over 40. It is, so we are long at 445.37. We are back in. Once again, we are much more protected. Pretty much any red in this candle, and we're getting right back out. It's, it's, it's much safer if you want to play the algorithm in a much safer manner. If you're not comfortable catching these big losers, then only take the longs when the RSI is down here around 40, right? Because now, well, I mean, it's not that this candle can't get super dumpy, I guess, but... You know, we're, we're much more protected to the downside, right? When we're buying RSI at 42 instead of when we bought this one at, what, 65? You know, we're, we're, we're much more protected now. So if you're like, wow, Trey, dude, I don't want to trade your system because that's scary. Like, I, I don't I, I don't want to get caught in dumps like that. Then don't take trades when the RSI is at 65. You know? there's, ways, there's ways you can implement the system to match your own like your own risk tolerance and stuff, right? Um, okay, this bar is red, and it's about to close. It's not going to close RSI below 40 yet, though. RSI is still at 41. See what this bar does, but we are once again red. We're down 21 bucks. Cool, cool. <clears throat> um, I'm in 100 shares short from the open. Congrats. Congrats on Spy, congrats. This is not my system. Once again, I mean, maybe you have a proven system that you know that makes money over time, but I'm not unhappy with being, okay, okay. I'm not stoked to be down $200, but I'm not like free, like I'm still taking trades that I know are profitable in the long run, right? <laughs> it's not like, once again, you can't worry about what can happen sometimes. That just can't, that just can't be the way you trade or else you're not going to be profitable, right? Uh, there was a really good quote. There was a really good quote. Uh, I don't remember the Twitter account. We're about to get stopped out of this, by the way, and we are getting stopped out of this. Uh, we will get back long if the RSI comes over 40 again, but got chopped out there. Um, I think we lost, geez, we lost almost 30 bucks in that trade. Gross. Um, what was it? Oh, it was, it was, you know, you know, every trader knows they can be red. But like you're not gonna be green until you can accept until you can accept that red is a possibility, right? You have to be able to accept being red in order to ever be green. Where's the uh where's the SMA at? Where's the SMA at? Still down at 444.06. So we're still not looking to get short anytime soon. Um RSI back over 40, we get back in. Trady trady. <laughs> Do you wish you stayed in bed today, Trey? No. No. Once again, I'm happy with the trades. Okay. I'm not I'm not happy, but <laughs> I, I don't know. I need to I need to find a word to use in these situations. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to be happy, but I'm comfortable. Maybe that's the right word. I'm not like panicking or freaking like, oh my god, <gasps> I'm losing money. No way, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> not bothered yeah exactly i don't want to use the word happy because i'm not like i'm not going to sit here and pretend to be like oh, holy <laughs> oh somebody let me know if netflix ever decides to bounce how did that i really i really do hope i wish did, did anybody clip that by the way when i said that this looks like a clay trader short because if he did his video will come out shortly if he did short that i'm gonna say that i called it <laughs> and good for him he likes, he likes that play. He kind of likes, and, and I do too, but I don't have it tested. Maybe that's something I should test, but kind of the, kind of the micro, micro, I'm, I'm back long, by the way. We're back, this bar did close over the 40 RSI, so we're back long. The, the system is trying to catch the bounce here. Uh, pretty much, once again, any red in this candle and we're out. But yeah, that Roku short that I was talking about, it's the, it's the large move, like a micro, a micro move that reverses the larger macro move, right? So you can play the micro move. Like you could short this because of the large macro short into the micro strength, right? I do like moves like that. And I know Clay Trader trades them. Um, Okay, RSI is now below 40. I'm just gonna continue getting chopped around here. Let's see, 20 seconds left in this bar. Looks like the RSI might close below 40 again. Wow, Um, cool. I'm going to go 0 for 3 quickly this morning, or what? 
or what? Does look like we are. And we're out. Cool. Very close. Oh, now it's not so close. It's starting to rip. Okay, we are long here, 444.89. Obviously, that bar closed RSI over 40. And we actually missed a trade. Like I wasn't really paying attention because this candle was dumping. I was like, eh, okay, I'm not going to take, you know, it's going to dump off. So I went and looked at other charts. I actually missed this trade. The RSI on this candle did get back over 40. And look, the system bought it and got dumped off into it. Hey, oh my gosh, we're actually up 50 bucks. Um, uh, oh, I wanted to sell half. I couldn't get it typed in fast enough. Shit. No way. Don't come back down. I need, dude, I need to fix that. Somebody remind me after this trade to fix that. I need to make 50 one of these quantity buttons so that I can just click, click. I feel like I lose so much money trying to type in. Oh, I'm going to go type in 50. And then, dang, we were just up 50 bucks there. I mean, we're still up 40. Still a nice trade here. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm really glad I missed that trade and then took this one. Really? Oh, you're so AIDS, Spy. Such a bad day for Spy. Uh, we made, I mean, we made 20 bucks in that trade. I'm not going to complain, I guess, but we were up 50. Bing bong. We are in at four. Oh my gosh. Once again, not showing my trades. We're in at 445.28. Let me refresh this. See if I can make it show my trades. There we go. In at 445.28, Spy, Spy did go on a little bit of a bull run here. And now we're getting the pullback. So we're obviously, as we do, buy when Spy breaks down levels, sell when it breaks up levels. The green green bar on this side represents the high of eight bars back. I believe it's currently representing this bar. Yep, this bar right here, it's currently representing. If we can just get a breakup over that, we are selling the close of the candle. Or if it breaks down, where you are going to lose money again because the RSI is currently at 50. So this actually, once again, has room to flush. If this if this wants to flush on us, it actually it has downside room again. We're not really that close to being stopped out again. So it's not as bad as it was up here when we took that $190, $200 loss, whatever it was, when the RSI was at 65. But here we go. Don't be pessimistic, Trey. Positive expectancy. We are... Oh, this is now a sell candle. Ooh, okay. This is a sell candle. We're up $37 in this trade. Um, I'm selling half here. This is a really nice push. I'm happy to sell half here. Look, we're only down 140 on the day now. That's actually not that bad. I mean, it's still not great, but it's actually not that bad. Um, okay, we did sell half. That was a huge green candle. And this, there's 35 seconds left in this bar. We will sell the second half at the close of the bar. Nice. Okay. So actually, we took three green trades in a row to end the day here. Obviously, the red trades were much bigger. Um, that can happen. We know that can happen in this system. Uh, when you get caught in a red trade, it can be much bigger than the green trades. But we are, we are going to wrap up with three green trades in a row. And now we're, once again, only down 100, well, now 150 bucks. Glad I sold half where I did. Um, but yeah, I mean, we were down what? At worst, we were down like 220, I think. No, not, not a bad little recovery here. Not a bad little recovery here. Um, and we're out. Nice. We are down 151 on the day. Okay, so that ends the recording of the first hour of the day. And this is going to sound insane. I just looked back at the editing. At the end of the first hour of the day this morning, we were down 151.67. Now, let me pull up Spy to see where we ended up closing the day. Well, it's 2 p.m. right now, but we are now down 151.66. Literally, when was the last when was the last trade you all saw? I believe it was this one. It was. It was this one right here, I think think was the last trade you all saw look at all the trades i've taken since then just to end up making one extra penny from where we closed the first hour of the day it was a whirlwind today we were all over the place um let's go ahead and pull over the uh trader view chart now so you can see that let's go to the journal first you can see look so this is where i ended the morning this was the first hour of the day that last trade you saw that ticked us up to 151 uh being down 151 we took a little winner after that yeah yippee maybe we can get back to break even on the day and then we started getting worked we actually went down more than we were at lows this morning we were down over 250 just about 300 dollars we were down about 280 here and then luckily we were able to fight our way back to one penny off where we were after that first hour of the day. So that's a pretty funny little coincidence there, but it was a roller coaster of a ride to get to it. So let's go ahead and go to the 60 days so you can see the full chart. 
Um, obviously, once again, full transparency on this channel. I don't hide and not post the videos when I have red days like this. It's not fun. It's not as fun to post these videos, uh, but we're still here, still doing it. And as you can tell, we're going over the stats. I show you my real equity curve. They're still trending in the right direction. The last, last couple of weeks have been kind of like meh, choppy sideways, and maybe even a little bit down now. Um, but, I mean, that just is what it is. We know this can happen in our back testing. We know this can happen uh, sometimes, but we're still trending in the right direction. Still looking good over the last uh, 60 trading days. I want to show you guys just this month as well. This month has been kind of meh, right? These last couple of weeks have kind of been the slow, but we are still up the month of April. I just started this filter from the month of April. We're still up 220 bucks this month, so nothing fantastic. And there is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven trading days left in the month of April, so maybe we'll be able to pull out something decent, but at least we are still green for the month. Let's clear this filter. Um, let's go back to only looking at the trades the algorithm takes, and then let's go to the detailed if you guys want to look at any of these statistics. Once again, full transparency. Show you guys all this stuff at the end of every live day trading recap that we upload every single day on this channel, even on red days like today. So hopefully you all can appreciate that since we started trading the algorithm, still up $1,100 since February 28th, which was the first day we started trading this algorithm. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully, um, you know, you enjoy the transparency and all that. If you do, please hit the like button. It really does help. If you're new around here, want to follow along, learn about the strategy, follow along as we create new strategies, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. I will catch you all in the next one.